this house when we're done with it in the middle of this neighborhood is going to be happy as hell. Oh, yeah. Is this going to be rental? It's a rental. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Someone already came up yesterday. Right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Especially after you get done painting it, they're oh, going to yeah, be like, see. Oh, they'll be all over. They're going to be like, Oh, when is it? When is it going to be open? When's it going to be open? Yeah. Gonna be open? And that's, a good, that's what you want, man, to be honest. Yeah. You, want, you know you're doing a good job when the streets is talking, right? When the streets is talking. All right, let's show you. So, just a day in the life, man. This is really just kind of more of a show you guys around how we do things. We find a good place, put our cabinets together. This is one of the lowest rental areas that you can buy in Southern California, probably like within this within this area that I invest. So these are some very basic cabinets. These are the cabinets that need to be assembled together. Um, let a 150-pound kid slip and slide in, in the kitchen and hit one, and the door is going to break. But I put a lot of money into this house. We pretty much did everything here. So when you're working at the budget, you got to find places to cut. Sometimes you just got to find places to minimize your cost. So cabinets going in. Let's see what else we got. into ADUs. ADUs is something you might want to look into. That's, um, they're basically back houses, artillery dwelling units, auxiliary dwelling, I don't know. I'll leave it in the, in the little section. But um, you can actually really, especially if you get this property for a good enough price, you can actually turn this into a dwelling unit. Now, I can always do it later because I'm keeping this as a rental. So right now I can get in, take a breather, uh, finish the property come back in a few months, start applying for my permits, and turn this into another unit. I definitely have the lot size, I definitely have the space, and I'll just build it around this tree, because I'm not taking that tree out. <laughs> just kidding. Let's go inside, let me show you guys what we got going on. Alright, so when you guys see the video of this completed, you'll be able to see that we have this whole thing exposed straight to straight to the studs. We had to completely redo this whole room. So it's just a small little room, small little twin bed, but it's a room and it'll work. Laundry room, new texture. It's a trick of the trade right here. Shh, don't tell nobody. But if you take caulking on your edges after your texture, you can, you can hack this away with the, with the uh, spatula to, to file it down and get a smooth texture before you paint. And you can just take caulking on your edges so you have nice round edges. That's a secret. I'm going to give you guys that one for free. I'm telling you about it. Nice round edges. Thank 
questions about this project or any other projects this is the channel for you lewis helps don't forget to like subscribe thumbs up share help your boy spread the message so that way we can help others go further and faster with real estate investing let's get this money y'all i'm terrence lewis I'm out.